Good afternoon. I'm Dr. Kristen Stehauer, Academic Vice President and Provost at Northwood University. It is my honor and privilege to call this 2020 commencement ceremony to order. Please welcome Jacob Spence, Northwood University alumnus, who will deliver our invocation. Hello, everybody. I know that we're all separated right now, but I wanted to give an opportunity for all of us to be joined together in spirit. It's been a difficult year, but every single day, and especially on a day like today, with this exciting ceremony, we have so much to be grateful for. So wherever you are, whatever you believe, I wanna invite you to take a moment of reflection and gratitude with all of us as we pray together. Heavenly Father, we come to you today with thankful hearts, thankful for the gift of today, thankful for the gift of our life, for the people in our lives, for the opportunities that we've had, for the moments that we've been able to experience, the laughter, the tears, our family and our friends. Thank you for bringing us to this day of celebration. We ask, Lord, as we gather together for this ceremony from all over the world, that you would bring us together, united in one spirit. Lord, I pray that you would fill all of our lives with joy, peace, love, fulfillment, and direction as we move forward from this day. And Lord, we ask that you bless this great university, that all who are connected with it would shine with your goodness. We thank you for the grace, for the knowledge, for the favor that you've imparted to all of us through this university. And Lord, I pray that you would bless our ceremony and all of the students involved today in every way. Amen. Now, I would like to introduce Dr. Kent McDonald, president of Northwood University. Please welcome Dr. McDonald. Thank you, Dr. Stehauer. Uh, good morning, everyone. Happy holidays and Merry Christmas. And although it just ended yesterday, happy Hanukkah for anyone of the Jewish faith. On behalf of the Board of Trustees and the faculty and the staff of Northwood University, let me welcome all of you here this morning, uh, any parents, uh, siblings, friends, family members, but mostly the graduating class of of 2020, it's very important for us to celebrate uh, each of you today. Although last Saturday we were able to gather on Hans Field and rainy and wet and even snowy conditions, we felt it was tremendously important to give you a variety of options for graduation because this has been a great success in an, in an incredible year. And, and let me also say that those of you who still want to come to campus, our doors are wide open for you for our May 8th celebration. And so perhaps we'll also see you on campus at that time. And so what's my main message very briefly for you today? It's one of perseverance and incredible admiration for what you've been able to do. Any year we celebrate our graduates, but then this particular year for you to persevere and carry on and and make your way through what is uh, undoubtedly more than just regular hardships is actually something that in time, you will be able to look back on as a badge of honor. You have overcome so many difficulties as we have uh, here at Northwood, and yet we're standing. We're particularly proud of you. Your careers will be bright, and we're uh, looking forward to all your successes in the future. Please stay connected with Northwood University you're now among thousands of alumni around the world, and we look forward to hearing, reading, and seeing how well you do in the future. So have a wonderful holiday. Thanks for joining us this morning. We look forward to celebrating this wonderful day with you. Thank you very much.
Earlier this fall on October 21st, we held a special ceremony in which we conferred our university's highest academic honor, the Doctor of Laws, Honoris Causa, to a man who has changed the world by being a protector of individual freedom, a champion for free enterprise, a leader on the global stage, and an advocate for the values and aspirations of Northwood University, Robert J. Chittister. Dr. Chittister worked with Nobel Prize winning economist Milton Friedman and his economist wife Rose to create a public television series called Free to Choose, which aired in 1980 and provided a counter argument to those advocating for political and economic socialism in the United States. Subsequently, he established the Free to Choose Network, the Idea Channel, Stossel in the Classroom, and isit.org to disseminate free market education and he has received numerous awards and recognition for his work. And now we are pleased to share an excerpt of the inspirational comments from Dr. Bob Chittister, who has for more than 60 years been an important educator and entrepreneur on behalf of freedom. Well, Milton helped us all understand more about freedom, economics, politicians, and I hope ourselves uh, through his concise and witty quotations, squeezing new meaning from common phrases. Well, I want to offer the following poem as a maybe my final illustration of the power of words to convey far more than any picture. A box of pastels. I once held on my knees a simple wooden box in which a rainbow lay dusty and broken. It was a set of pastels that had years before belonged to the painter Mary Cassatt, and all the colors she'd used in her work lay open before me. Those hues she'd most used, the peaches and pinks, were worn down to the stubs while the cool colors, violet and ultramarine, had been set scarcely touched to one side. She'd had little patience with darkness, and her heart held only a measure of shadow. I touched the warm dust of those colors, her tools, and left there with light on the tips of my fingers. I also use that poem when I speak to people, speak to students, etc. To have people understand the importance of free market capitalism that tends to be overlooked. And that is that without it, we would not have the wealth creation engine that gives us discretionary income. Milton's favorite poem was Rudyard Kipling's God of the Copybook Headings. The basic message is no free society, no kingdom, no empire, no dictator uh, can change the immutable laws we learn through aphorisms. Sticks and stones will break my bones, but words will never hurt me. free speech. The debates going on all over this country about free speech and what it means on college campuses. There is the only answer that should be acceptable to us, obviously given some additional scholarly nuance, which is to say, as long as you don't physically harm me, I have to be strong enough to tolerate your verbal abuse. If, if we have a society in which we are not committed to that, our free society will go away. An ounce of profession, prevention is worth a pound of cure. A penny saved is a penny earned. Actions speak louder than words. That one comes up again. And... An important way to reinforce 
Uh, they're an important way to reinforce the commonly held values that help us hold the society together. When we let them erode, when we let our children no longer learn them, uh, when they no, no longer readily come to mind, societies, I think, will crumble. And I think that's why Milton uh, loves Rudyard Kipling's poem, The Gods of the Copybook Headings. I would read it to you, but it's about six pages long, and no thank you. So for 43 years, after meeting Milton and Rose, reflecting on our relationship, I am truly humbled by the faith they had in me and proud to have managed to justify that faith. I hope our work together, your work in the future, will continue to help advance human freedom and well-being for decades to come. And help me keep alive the legacy of our dear friends, Milton and Rhodes. Graduates, as you receive your diploma, you will simultaneously join the Northwood University Alumni Association. Please help me in welcoming to the podium, Julia Damchuk, Executive Director of Alumni Relations. Class of 2020, today is the start of a new chapter in your Northwood story, a story that continues for life. Your role in this story has changed though, from student to alumni, learner to supporter, receiver to giver. Think about the countless alumni that made your education here valuable and possible. The scholarships, buildings, halls, and events all named after alumni. The graduates who gave you internships, hosted events, spoke in classes, mentored you, and the many more whose contributions went unseen. The faculty and staff who acted as your family away from home, helping you through the tough days and celebrating your successes. The spirit of generosity is strong in our community, and now you carry the torch to help keep that spirit alive. We have a tradition of lighting a candle, recognizing the founders of Northwood and signifying the many individuals and groups who work together to build our great university. The lantern you see on stage with me is lit from the founder's flame that burns in Northwood's founder's garden. The Founders' Flame is a visible reminder that freedom, liberty, ethics, and personal responsibility are critical to the success of Northwood University students. It is our great responsibility to carry the figurative torch that was first lit by our founders. May it eternally light the way in a global free enterprise society. You are forever a part of the Northwood family, and being part of a family means we work together using our own personal talents and strengths for the benefit of each other. You have honed strong values here, and we look forward to seeing them in action. Congratulations, and welcome to the Northwood Alumni Network. It is my privilege to call on Dr. Lisa Fairbairn, Dean of the DeVos Graduate School of Management to begin the graduate degree presentation. DeVos Graduate School of Management, Class of 2020. It is now time to confer your degrees. Please stand if you are able. By the authority of the President of Northwood University, the consent of the Board of Trustees, and in accordance with the laws of the State of Michigan, I hereby confer upon you the degree for which you have fulfilled the requirements as set by the faculty of the DeVos Graduate School of Management. You are conferred the degree for which you have qualified with all the rights, responsibilities, honors, and privileges appertaining to.
I will now read the names of master's degree recipients who have submitted their names to be announced during the ceremony. Please note that all graduates' names will be displayed later in the ceremony. For the Master of Business Administration, Nicholas Paul Andres, Catherine Marie Blakeman, Sydney Lynn Culps, Russell S. Geller, Toria J. Gray Baker, Master of Science, Peter C. Collier, Christy Lynn Culbert, Jennifer L. Davis, Tawanda Monique Guy Hitchcock, Lois McKinney McIntyre, Stacy R. Sofer, Kelly Stumpf. Congratulations, graduates. It is my privilege to call Dr. Patty Tim, Dean for Undergraduate Academics, to begin the undergraduate degree presentation. Thank you, Dr. Stayhauer. Class of 2020, it is now time to confer your degrees. Please stand if you are able. By the authority of the President of Northwood University, the consent of the Board of Trustees, and in accordance with the law of the State of Michigan, I hereby confer upon you the degree for which you have fulfilled the requirements as set by the faculty of Northwood University. You are conferred the degree for which you have qualified with all the rights, responsibilities, honors, and privileges appertaining thereto. Congratulations.
I will now read the names of undergraduate degree recipients who have submitted their names to be announced during the ceremony. Please note that all graduates' names will be displayed later in the ceremony. For the Bachelor of Business Administration, Regina Lydia Allen, cum laude. Tyler Altman, cum laude. Jenna Rose Arndt, summa cum laude. Rachel Rose August, Isabella Luz L. Bakunawa, cum laude. Sarah Marie Berger, Zachary Barton, Sean Michael Binet II, Mallory M. Bonnet, Kylie Janae Bostic, cum laude, Kenneth D. Braxton, Keandre A. Buchanan, Kareem Buhaidar, Jessica Lynn Bunting, summa cum laude, Denna Cole, summa cum laude, Elizabeth Creighton, Jimmy Lewis Crosswell III, Hannah K. Cunningham, summa cum laude, Lisa De La Garza, Regina Lynn Deeplesmaker, cum laude. Christy Lynn Douglas, summa cum laude. Jamie Kathleen Dwyer, summa cum laude. Charlie Thomas Evans. Desiree Ann Garcia. Ann M. Gersheski, summa cum laude. Angelo Emilio Giglio. Ferdel C. Green IV. Thomas Gilbo. Jalisha Shea Henry. Frank Johnson Higgins III. Roberto Aaron Hodge. Michael David Hirsch, cum laude. Aranda L. Jabiro, summa cum laude. Norma Elia Jimenez, magna cum laude. Emily Taylor Johnson. Peter Manny Joseph, summa cum laude. Ryan Koyman, summa cum laude. Kevin Dale Krokoski. Suresh Lamsal, summa cum laude. Elliot Taylor Leip, cum laude. Joshua Michael Locke, magna cum laude. Christopher Anthony McClay. Patrick Kelly McRae, summa cum laude. Casey McDowell, magna cum laude. Anne Marie Mollison, cum laude. Rita Morones Morales, magna cum laude. Carlos A. Muniz. Dominic Frank Norco, salutatorian, summa cum laude. Alyssa Ann Nuremberg, magna cum laude. Christopher N. Petit. Selena Marie Polanco. Alfredo Sadi Prada, magna cum laude. Pratyush Rajkarnikar. Ryan Matthew Rao, magna cum laude. Stephen Redder. Cheryl Lynn Robinson, cum laude. Marcello Rufino, summa cum laude. Lucy Santa Maria, summa cum laude. Joseph Irwin Schneider, magna cum laude. Chase Maria Schultz, cum laude. Stephen Ray Sharp, summa cum laude. Ian Michael Simek, magna cum laude. Harmit Singh, cum laude. Kevin Joe Smurden, 
magna cum laude. Joseph Edward Smith. Michael Thomas Sobolewski, cum laude. William Dion Stanford. Marissa Talia Taluto. Maria Teresa Tati, magna cum laude. Jennifer Marie Tucker. Edith Margarita Ware. Tyler John Yo. Erica Eileen Zandarski, cum laude. And for the Bachelor of Science, Carrie Marks, magna cum laude.
Congratulations, graduates. As this commencement ceremony draws to a close, we want to express our deep gratitude to all who joined us today to honor the class of 2020 and to all who made this ceremony possible. Reaching your educational goals is a significant milestone along a journey of lifelong learning and growth. This year has provided us with a multitude of challenges and we're extra proud of you for persevering and we wish you the very best of success as you use your Northwood degrees to create positive impact in your world. Now, please welcome Jacob Spence for the benediction. Let's pray. Lord, we return to you now full of gratitude for the way that your favor has shown on us today. I pray that as we move forward, that every student involved in this ceremony would shine with your goodness. I pray that you would bring them into the right opportunities to meet the right people, to find fulfillment in you and in this world, and that everything that their hands find to do would prosper and succeed. Lord, I pray that you bless these graduates today and all of us participating as we go out away from this ceremony, that we would find your goodness in all that we see. And now I pray that the Lord would bless you and keep you. The Lord make his face shine upon you and be gracious to you. The Lord lift up his countenance upon you and give you his peace. God bless you. Your best days are in front of you. Amen. <laughs>